Sing me a song of last that is gone. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylee and this video is a video in a very long series all about the book Go Tell the Bees That I Am Gone, written by the amazing author Diana Gabaldon. Now, if you haven't uh, watched any of the previous videos for this video series, it may be a little confusing, so I would suggest jumping back to chapter one, or if you are not wanting to hear any of the spoilers about this book, then probably click onto something completely different on this channel, but I'm sure there'll be something here you will enjoy. And I just want to start off by saying a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's to everybody. I know that I have had the most relaxing two weeks off from YouTube, but that has upset a few people who are loving the chapter review videos and are wanting more and more of them. So I am definitely going to start pumping them out now. But I just really hope that everyone has enjoyed their Christmas festive season. So today's video is all about chapter 17, which was titled Reading by Firelight. Now, this is again another short chapter, which I feel like I have said for nearly every single video and every single chapter that we have talked about. But this one is predominantly told on the perspective of Jamie, who is still at the ridge. So the chapter begins and we have obviously Jamie straight off the bat and it, we're, we're getting more and more updates about the house basically. We now know that the second level where the main bedroom is is definitely definitely underway and is almost complete. Jamie is sort of thinking to himself how it's going to be fantastic to be able to you know no longer be sleeping under the stars with Claire and have a comfy bed and a you know comfy pillow but also he's a little bit sad because he's no longer going to be sleeping under the stars with Claire. It's very cool to, like, this house, I have, it. it's absolutely pictured in my mind's eye what it looks like because of how much detail we're getting throughout this book. And because I've had such a long break, it's nice to sort of be brought back into the progress of the house. Uh, for a lot of other readers, I know because you guys didn't and you aren't stopping between chapters like myself. So you're probably going, okay, I've had enough of the house. Come on, come on. But for me, because of the break, I've really appreciated coming in and having, oh yeah, okay, so we've got a reminder of a true story, the main bedroom's upstairs, okay, everything is sort of getting put back into perspective of the house build itself. And I love that this chapter is really all about Jamie's thoughts and feelings. That was a nice added touch. Another really fun thing about this chapter is it's Again, like I said, all about Jamie and he's reflecting over all the different books and the family library, which has basically been stacked up into two piles and the books that are there for him to read and for him to look over. Um, he does find the good old Green Eggs and Ham Dr. Zeus book and has a, a like a little smile to himself while reminiscing over that and the memories of reading that with uh, Mandy especially. But then he finds up, well he doesn't find, he knows about it obviously, but he picks up the book from Frank. And this is when I really thought, okay, here we go, we're going to, something is going to jump out. But it just didn't. And that really threw me. So it does go through the fact that Jamie did, in fact, read part of Frank's book. And he does have the, you know, oh, so there's Frank because there's a picture of him on the book. And, you know, this sort of stuff comes into it. And I, I was so excited. I really thought this was it. We're going to find some really cool tidbit of information. It's going to come filtering through. Mm, we know he read about battles. We know he knows what Frank looks like. And that was really it. And that threw me for six. But something I did really enjoy, because while we're still in the scene of the book reading, is that he did openly say out loud, or to himself at least, that he finally forgives Lord John Grey. Now this, although, is then backed up with saying that, you know, it's going to be a while before I really want to talk to you, Lord John Grey, he sort of, Jamie says in his mind, and you do, it's sort of that, okay, the the forgiveness is definitely, is going to happen. It's not going to be like the duo is never going to be friends again, they're never, you know, I have full faith that even though it's going to take some time, they're going to be a happy, friendly little duo again, and I am all for that. Also, during this chapter, which I probably should have mentioned earlier, we know that Claire is not at the ridge. Well, she's at the ridge, but she's not at the main home. She is off tending to somebody, and that is why we have such a unique, 
alone sort of time with Jamie and what Jamie's all about. But I just thought I th should have thrown that in earlier that Claire's not actually just sitting nearby, not saying anything. She's away from the home. We also have a really touching moment when Fanny and Brie and Jamie are all having breakfast. Now Fanny comes up to collect Jamie and say that Brie is cooking breakfast and that he should come down. And it's here that we learn that Fanny is really trying to learn Gaelic. And I love the connections between Fanny and Jamie and also Fanny and Brie. Like that whole dynamic is such a unique sort of character section that... I just always smile when I know they're in a scene together or they're in a situation where they're all interacting together because it's just, I don't know, there's something about them all being together that I really, really like. Especially now. Uh, so I obviously went through the last couple of chapters videos and going through everyone's comments and I am so thankful that everyone pointed out that Fanny is actually really young. In my mind and in my mind's eye, in the last couple of chapter videos, especially in regards to the letter from William, I, in my mind's eye, thought, oh, of course, Fanny's like 17, 18. She's not. She's like 11 or 12. So now that I have sort of switched that up in my mind's eye, I'm like, no, no, come on, come back here. She's, she's just a little kid. She's not in that teenage era. It's more of a dynamic that I'm loving because it's more, again, that father figure of Jamie, you know, coming in for Fanny. It, oh. It just made everything in this chapter click and be more for me because I remembered everyone's comments. I was like, no, she's not the old. She's young. Come on, Kaylee, concentrate. Young here, not old. <laughs> so even though this was, like I said, a short chapter and not much happened in the scheme of things, it wasn't branched over a couple of days. It was literally a night slash morning. This chapter really did speak volumes in regards to what's happening in Jamie's mind. And like I said, we had a really big moment where he is going to forgive Lord John Grey, even if it does take a little bit more time. We definitely know that that is going to play out. So for me, this chapter was really lovely and it was a nice welcome back into the book after my extensive two week holiday break for Christmas and New Year's and all that sort of stuff. So it was really nice to just smooth sail into this chapter and to have it one all of like from Jamie's perspective was fantastic. Not that I don't love Claire because we know the book is mainly for Claire, but just having that alone time with Jamie and sort of having his mind, like seeing what's in his mind at this current moment and this time was really lovely to have as sort of my step back into it. I am going to really ramp up the chapter videos because it is only 60-ish, 65 maybe days until we are going to start doing the Outlander season six videos. I am so excited about Outlander season six. And even though it's gonna be such a short season, I just cannot wait. But I really wanna have pumped out a lot of these videos. So please, if you have not hit that subscribe button, please consider doing so. It definitely does help the channel grow. Share these videos with anyone that you think might be a big fan of them because that will also help the channel grow. I again hope everybody's had such a great festive season and I will see you tomorrow for another chapter review video. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Sing me a song of a last that is gone.